Hello, and welcome to Virtual Vespers at Community United Methodist Church in beautiful Fairfield, California. Tonight, I'd like to share with you one of my favorite psalms, and it might be one of yours too, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This well-known psalm is so rich with peace and blessing for all of our days. Yet often we can become so familiar with popular verses and chapters of God's word that they can almost lose the important message that he's wanting to instill within our hearts. Praying God's words back to him and meditating on them verse by verse can help us to remember his goodness and be strengthened by his truths. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leads us, he guides us, he's always with us, and we can be assured and feel safe under his protective care. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. Verses two through three. He knows where true rest and blessing are found and leads us there. He restores, he refreshes, he brings peace and goodness. The rest of verse three. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. He leads us to walk in his ways. He draws us to stay close to him and to follow him. Verse 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Though life is uncertain and we may suffer with illness, loss, or pain, our God of comfort our Lord, who holds all power over death and disease, walks with us, always. He is the only one who can take us by the hand through life's darkest moments of suffering, bringing freedom and healing from the pain of this life straight into glory, in the hope of heaven that he has reserved for us. We never have to fear, in life or in death, for he is with us, our constant strength and shepherd. Verse 5. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. We have a place at his table. He makes room for us. He wants us to stay close to him. Through history, hosts were expected to protect their guests at all costs. God's protection is real. In the midst of the traps and attacks of enemy forces, we can find security and refuge in his great care. It doesn't mean that we won't ever face huge battles but that he covers us with his spirit of anointing and power to live out our days with his strength and his blessing. Verse 6. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That word for follow means to chase or to pursue. We can be assured he chases us today and all of our days with his goodness and his love. And even at the end of all of our days here on earth, he still has more in store, and it's greater than we can ever imagine. Psalm 23 and many of the other psalms have been used in musical settings, so I hope you will enjoy the setting of Psalm 23.
pray with me? Dear God, thank you that you are our good shepherd and we can trust you with our lives. Thank you for your leadership and sovereignty. Thank you for your guidance and care in all of our days. Thank you that you restore our souls. You give us peace and you bring us hope in all of our tomorrows. Thank you for your protection and strength that surround us like a shield. Thank you that we never have to fear. Thank you for your goodness and love that follows after us, chases us even when we're unaware. Thank you, Lord, that you're trustworthy and able, that you are our refuge and hope. In you alone is rest and peace, O God. We praise you for the assurance that we will dwell with you forever. In Jesus' holy name, amen.